Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Edward Walker Jr. And on this channel, we focus on things like tips, tricks, and gear reviews. And I'm really excited about today's video because I'm gonna be sharing something that I personally struggle with when I started off in the field of wedding photography. And that's just how to become and how to be a better second photographer to the lead. And I'm excited to share these um, tips with you guys and I hope you're able to grab something that you can um, put to use. Stay tuned. The first tip that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is to communicate with the lead before the day of the wedding. And this is so important. Um, the reason that you wanna do this is to, just to get a feel of how the photographer works if you've never photographed, if you've never second shot for this photographer before. And just to, just to get a better understanding of the expectations for the day, because not every photographer shoots the same you might shoot a wedding differently from what the other per, uh, what the lead photographer might shoot the wedding as and definitely know how that person works so that you can gel and work together and be a great team because it's all about serving the couple. Communication, communication, communication. Communication is key. One thing to discuss with the lead photographer beforehand are things like what type of lenses do they like to use and this is important. This is an important. This is in um. This is in an important. <laughs> this is important. <laughs> this is important because you definitely just want to get a different point of view from the lead photographer. You know, it's the same story, just a different point of view, and that those images go great with telling the story with what the lead photographer is capturing. Another great thing to talk about is how they plan to get the images from you that day. Some photographers like to swap out cards. They like to bring their computer so you can download the cards right then and there. And some may bring their Narbox where it's a device where you can just plug your SD cards in and it backs up all the images to that device. But knowing this beforehand, is very beneficial because you don't want it to be time to go and you're just like looking around like, what do I do next? You wanna have all this information beforehand so you can you can be a well-oiled, real well-run. I can't speak today, man, straight up. You could be a well-running oiled, well-oiled running, <laughs> a well-oiled machine, there we go. Another thing that you can be discussing with the photographer beforehand are things like when can you share the images, if you can share the images, and if they would like photo credit while you're posting the images. And it's just great to be on the same page across the board on little things like this because you don't want to burn bridges and you just don't want to come off as disrespectful. Communicating well is the first step when it comes to being a great second photographer. Oh, another thing, um, it's also great to talk about the dress code um, for the wedding, whether the lead photographer has a dress code or whether the event is a certain style. You definitely don't wanna show up underdressed or overdressed, so, um, or just dressed wrong completely. So definitely communicate with the lead photographer about that. And when it all comes down to it, being a second photographer is just all about adding value to the day in any way that you can. And you can do this by um, things like having a schedule of the day, helping keeping, help keeping the lead photographer on time with the things on the timeline and just walking them through it, giving them a five minute warning, saying um, five minutes until this, five minutes until that. That is so beneficial to a lead photographer. Um, it helps the lead to be able to focus more on other things of the day. And the lead's already dealing with so many different personalities, being a coach to the bride and the groom, um, gathering everyone, and just any way that you can add value and take, um, and take some stress or a load off of the lead photographer's back, 
is very beneficial for second photographer for being a second photographer and you should just go in, go into second shooting with that mindset is just wanting to add value to the lead photographer and taking stress off of them and just to piggyback off of that if you see something that needs to be done do it take initiative be a leader you see something in the frame that she's shooting in that could probably ruin the shot go and move it if you see that the bride's dress needs to be fluffed, fluff it. Um, <laughs> it's definitely so helpful for the main photographer to not run back and forth from the bride, fluffing the dress, doing all the little stuff, taking things out of the frame that doesn't need to be in the frame when you can definitely be doing those things, all while capturing some great images of her behind the scene doing that as well. Um, lead photographers love that kind of stuff. Some behind the scene footage of them working in action. This is great for their portfolio. And while they're looking at the images, I guarantee you they'll be blown away and, and you'll definitely be getting a call back to second shoot for that photographer again. Another thing to be aware of is that you are the second photographer. <laughs> you are not the lead. You should not be promoting your business. You should not be handing out business cards. You should not be sharing your um, business um, website with the guests. You're strictly there underneath the lead photographer's business. You are representing their brand, their business. So definitely stay away from self-promotion in any type of way, seriously. Whenever someone asks you questions about bookings, do not point the finger at yourself point them to the lead photographer's business, website, Instagram handles. You are strictly there to help promote them. You're there to represent them. And um, your business is non-existent at this point. So just focus on that and keep the main thing the main thing. You're definitely there just to support the lead photographer. Point blank period. And I'll leave you guys with this. To make a long story short, the best way to be a second photographer is just to do everything with excellence and to just be the second photographer that you would want on your team if you were the lead. Um, it just comes down to that. I just wanna say thank you to everyone who has been watching my videos. It truly means a lot to me um, on this YouTube journey. And if you have some tips that I didn't discuss or if you want to go further on a tip that I discussed, Let's talk about it in the comment section below. And again, thank you guys for rocking out with me. Um, it's been real. I'll see you guys in the next episode.